Hello Barmy Badger Army, I hope you're all well guys. Welcome to today's show. Once again, we are gonna be trying out of date food. And I've got a few products for you here today, not just the one. So we're gonna try some Mojo Strawberry, and that's from Nourishment. Uh, you may know the Nourishment uh, brand, but this is like their um, sister product from the cans, and this is like a bottle of milkshake instead. We've got a seven days giga croissant with chocolate in the middle. So we're gonna try that. And we've got Duchess Long Magdalenas. So we'll see how those go. Okay, so let's start off with the Mojo drink. Let's have a look. I've had these when they've been in date and things like that. Um, not much of a lover of the strawberry one. Much prefer the chocolate uh, nourishment drinks, but we'll see how the mojo fares. Right, okay. So I'm going to take the lid off. Okay. Don't know if you guys can see, hey, but it seems okay. Smells all right as well, so it's not too bad. Let's give it a bit of a shake up, make sure. Okay, let's have a little look. This cost me 10 pence, and they usually retail at around over a pound. So let's have a look. Smells okay, actually. Mm. You know, it's not too bad. I was a bit worried the milk would be off or something like that. But it's obviously been heat treated. So that was really nice. It's got no added sugar, multivitamin milkshake, and uh, natural flavorings. Yeah, and for a strawberry one, that's not too bad. Let's just read the back. Nourishment Mojo is deliciously new multivitamin milkshake. The perfect pick-me-up. Let's face it, life's not perfect, despite what people think on Facebook. Pick yourself up with extra vitamins, minerals, and protein. That wasn't too bad, actually. Um, it tastes exactly like the one that I had that was in date, and that went off on the 7th of the 12th, 2018, so not that long ago. Totally fine. Tasty, totally fine, that does. Hmm, so I'm not too worried about that. Tasty, quite nice. Now let's go on to the seven days Giga croissants. Okay, let's have a look. Whoa, this is a whopper. Now I don't know if you guys can see here, but there is some discoloration on the top there. It looks like it's, I don't think it's mold, I think it's just like the sugar rising to the top. Smells okay. Uh, feels fairly soft still. It's not too bad. But there is a slight discoloration. And when I say slight, quite heavy discoloration, I think that's where the sugar rises to the top. You know when you have like a slightly out of date chocolate bar, and there's white powder almost at the top. Uh, this does remind me of that, where the sugar's sort of risen to the top there. So let's open it up and have a look. It smells okay, actually, it smells okay. It does feel quite stale, uh, to be honest with you. So I'm not really too sure if I want to eat too much of it, but let's give it a look. Okay. Yeah, look, there's no mold or anything like that, but there is the discoloration at the top. So let's have a look. Chocolate looks okay in the middle there. Oh, that's not bad, let's have a go. Mm. Mm. Not bad. It's not actually that bad. Apart from the sugar rising at the top, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm. Probably a little stale, but that's about it. Mm. Chocolate filling tastes fine. Mm. It's not bad. 
Tastes okay. Just a little stale. Not too bad. So now let's have a look at Long Magdalena's from Duchess. Let's have a look. And that was bought for 20 pence. And the long croissant was 30 pence. Usually well over a pound, I believe. So let's have a look. Okay. So this came in a double pack. Um, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It feels quite soft still. feels quite squidgy. Obviously, these are over a pound still again. Uh, at normal retail price, but they were 20 pence. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. At first look, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Smells okay. Looks okay. Let's uh, give it a rip. Yes, it looks all right, doesn't it? There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever so far. Um, smells all right. Let's have a little taste. Nothing wrong with that at all. Only thing I would say is probably a little stale, that's all. Not too bad. Hmm. Yeah, I've got no complaints with that. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad at all. Hmm. The only thing I'm slightly wary of is the massive croissant where it's got the um, sugar at the top. Other than that, I've found the Mojo drink to be fine and the Duchess drink uh, food to be fine as well. So it's not too bad. So, you know, the, the first drink and the Duchess cakes that we tried last were fine. But like I was saying, not so sure about the uh, croissant. But that might just be to do with the level of sugar and salt in there. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before, guys. If you've had them new or if you've had them slightly out of date. And would you try out of date products? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And if you would like to suggest anything we can try in the comments below. Nothing too gross. But yes. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the show if you're new. And thank you very much, guys, for everyone who sponsors and helps the show in any way. So thank you very much, guys. You are awesome. If you help the show in any way, show perform by sharing the shows around, sponsoring the show, or moderating the show when we do the live streams. Thank you very much, everyone. You are your totally awesome got slightly the hand of burps there but thank you very much guys and i will see you real soon bye for now barmy badger army hope you enjoyed today's vlog and don't forget to say hi in the comments see you later on guys bye